What's up, YouTube? This is going to be our guide on how to use Talonflame in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing some competitive movesets and some fun me movesets too. If there's a set you'd like to see or a Pokemon you want me to do, leave below in the comment section. And if you want to support the series, drop a like on the video and let's get into it. So earlier on, I did a guide on Tyranitar. So if you want to check that out, make sure you do. It's in the playlist. And let's have a look at Talonflame. So Talonflame is an interesting Pokemon uh, with its stats. So it has a good ability with Gale Wings. It did get a nerf, of course, a while back now, but uh, it's still quite a good move there, granting priority to flying type moves uh, by one when it's at full health. Now, when you look at Talonflame's stats, it isn't really the greatest offensive Pokemon in the world there. Like, it's... Highest attacking set is 81, which really isn't that good. So this Pokemon can run a fair bit of uh, utility. And, you know, most of the time it actually is used for that um, that I've seen, especially in Scarlet and Violet. But I'm going to go over some, like, offensive builds, some utility and some memes and stuff like that. So the first set here, um, a, com a very common item, the most common item to you probably see on Talonflame is Heavy Duty Boost. Because it's just excellent because of its typing, you know, fire and flying, being four times weak to stealth throw. Rock, yeah, you, you really almost need to run that item a lot of the time, you know, with stealth rocks and stuff are in play. Now, with its speed, it's got a great speed stat, which is uh, excellent, you know, and it also has, you know, reasonable attack stat. But the thing about it, its attack stat is it has to rely on moves like Brave Bird and Flare Bird. So... These moves do recall damage, which instantly gets rid of your Gale Wings advantage. So a lot of the time there'll be Roost on the set to roost back the health so you can, you know, retain your ability there. But it's still very, very fast. So even if you do say you lose some of your health, you can generally still go first. So this is more offensive set. We've got Brave Bird Flare Blitz. So just some main stab here. Uh, Brave Bird working very well with Gale Wings. And we've got uh, Flare Blitz as well and i've also got u-turn just for some uh sort of just for scouting say you do come across like a rock type pokemon that's not going to be greatest in the world even you know, as in a matchup so you could just u-turn out of there uh the terror type i've given this Usually you could run like Flying Terror or Ghost Terror. One of those two seem to work probably the best on Talonflame for what I've used it. Um, Ghost is just, you know, kind of good there for getting around any extreme speed Pokemon. Um, like, you know, D uh, Dragonite extreme speed or you know, maybe even like Lakara or stuff like Depending on what sort of like, you know, um, rules and moves that you're playing there. Um, it's got... Flame body too, but most of the time you're going to be using, you know, Gale Wings, right? Because it's it's just better. Uh, flame body can work, but it is very very situational. So this is more of an offensive set. Here. You could there are little variations you could run for moves and stuff. I, I will go over that over the course of this video, but most of the time, like every single time, it's always going to have Brave Bird. That's like its main move. You might be able to slot out Flare Blitz and give it something different if you really want to. But yeah, most of the time you'll see Roost and Brave Bird. They're you know, very, very common moves on there. And you know, with Roost, it helps out with uh, getting your Gale Wings back there. And it also removes the Flying Tide until uh, the end of the turn. So it can be handy and situational. So the next ones we got here, you'll probably see these a little bit more. These are more utility style talent fame because let's face it, I... 81 in attack isn't really all that good, but it does have a good ability and it does learn quite a good amount of like utility moves here. So, you know, Tailwind, that's an excellent move there to run on Talonflame. You've got Gale Wings there, um, you know, Tailwind, beautiful. Uh, we've also got Will-O-Wisp, which is very good too. So you can spread the burn around there. So you can, you know, pass off a burn and then you could say you do take some damage and it's you know, still super effective. You can always roost it off and then you can use Roost and Brave Bird too. So they always work nicely in tangent. Uh, for the EVs, a lot of the time, Mostly, you're going to be still running max speed. It, you know, it does rely on having its max speed there. Uh, it's, it's its best stat. And it also actually doesn't have a... It's not absolutely amazing, but it doesn't have a bad health stat. So you can dump a lot of that into health and just purely use it as utility if you want to. And you can still do a little bit of damage there with Brave Bird as well. I mean, Brave Bird has 120 base power. That's that's good. You know, it kind of needs it just for some extra damage. And you can also uh, you just roost off there and spread burns around. So that's what you'll be seeing a lot of time. Uh, you've got Terra Flying. I've given that one. So Terra Flying's good. Um, Ghost is another one you, you, you'll see as well. So I, I say Flying and Ghost probably the most out of 
uh, out of all of them. Uh, there are other ones you can use to. I'm not saying they won't work, but they're probably the two most common ones. I've also given that heavy duty boots too. Um, let's have a look at this utility too. This is sort of kind of similar to it, but I, it, it's a little bit more uh, detailed for like doubles and that sort of thing, like, you know, outspeeding certain threats and things like that. Firstly, we've got the item as uh, Covert Cloak, which is quite handy because you can stop like the secondary effects, for example, like a, uh, a fake out, you know, so you can still get all your necessary things up like Tailwind and uh, Taunt is another good move as well. So you might be able to slide Taunt on here if you really wanted to, but you might have to drop Will-O-Wisp or one of those things. You, you always want to have Brave Bird on there so you can actually do something. But yeah, so this one's a little bit more... We're still running Max Help, but we're, we've still got a fair bit of help. But we've got a little bit of extra in attack and a little bit more bulk to it, right? So and just a little bit more base power so we can actually, you know, two-shot things or, you know, one-shot certain things uh, you know, with it not having to do Brave Bird again. Now, this is Gale Wings again, of course. So we've got Taunt, Brave Bird, and Tailwind, and will o -Wiz. So this is more... This is definitely based around, around doubles, uh, for sure. Um, this could definitely work in singles, for sure, as well. Um, th this is more of a, like a singles utility one. But uh, this, this is nice in doubles uh, at the same time. Um, just touching on the singles one... Another move you can put on there too, which I don't mind, is Defog. That's quite good as well, because you can clear Entry Hazard. That's... That's good if you're... Uh, I mean, you can still have heavy-duty boots and that too, but that's an, another speedy defogger. So very, very good. And, you, know, you do see that you know, used a fair bit. Not so much in doubles, though. I don't really see defog being as useful in doubles, but absolutely in singles, that's another option you can use for sure. You know, you can post any of your talent flame sets there that work for you. They're, they're probably very similar to these uh, these ones where there's singles and doubles. But yeah, a little bit of interesting set there. So extra, a little bit of extra attack, a little bit of extra bulk there for sure. And maximizing the EVs as well, trying to get the most out of, uh, you know, talent flame uh, for this utility set. Now, the next one we got here is going to be... Oh, this is a bit of a meme set so we've got a little bit of a, 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 a little, we're moving on to more memes here but i will go back over talent flame as a you know as an entire in a second so this is a trapping talent flame so we've got a fire spin trapping set with flame body so you could always drop will o -Wisp if you wanted to here if you felt like that was a waste but it's like you know i'm probably not going to get go wings unless i'm at full health so you know, you can either choose to go, well, Gale Wings and then will o -Wisp or drop will o -Wisp and have Flame Body. But Flame Body may not be activated if you don't get hit by a, um, a contact move. So probably best we'll just, you know, sit this one at Gale Wings. But, you know, Flame Body, you might be able to drop something else. I just sort of like the idea of having the Fire Spin doing damage. Then you've got the will o -Wisp to burn them. And then you've got Steel Wing to uh, do a little bit of extra damage there for any other sort of rock types. And you've got that little chance of raising your defense too. And we've got Roost to heal up. The EV spread, I've given this one max health and max special defense this time. Careful nature to make her like all-round bulky, you know. And I didn't give it any speed, but you can, if you can get your health back, you can make use of Gale Wings. And even with no speed, it's, it's still pretty fast. So... You could always adjust the speed there if you wanted to, but like I really dumped it into special defense so you could you know try and leave some special moves. Now I've given this one Terra Electric, so it's only got one weakness there, which is gonna be ground. And let's be real, uh you, know, you probably have ground type Pokemon coming in anyway, so I thought that'd be good only having uh, one weakness and stuff there. Um if you were running, let's say for example, let's play around with this set for a little bit. If you were wanting to run um the uh, flame body let's have a little bit of a look here it does get some good special moves I'll, I'll give it that but we will go for special sets in a sec they're not too bad uh look you could you could give it tailwind if you wanted to that could be another option so you could make it make sure you go first you know so that's another option that you could you know definitely go for there or you know, tailwind or heck you could even go agility since we're doing a full meme set we might as well make a full meme so after one agility, it's going to outspeed, you know, virtually everything outside of priority moves and stuff like that. So, there you go. A trapping talent flame there. As for heavy duty boots, that's a good option. Or you could go for stuff like, um... Uh... We got, like, a uh, binding band. That could be a good one, too. Like, binding band, we could, you know, make those trapping moves to a, a six instead of eight. That could 
That could work too. You've got Grip Claw. Grip Claw could uh, trap it in for seven turns. So would, the Fire Spin would last longer. Instead of being from four to five turns, it would be seven. So you get the most out of Fire Spin. They couldn't swap things like that. So, you know, that's another little cool options that you could do there too. Let's move on to some special sets here for Talonflame. We've done a bug like... We've done quite a few bulky sets. Now, Talonflame does get Sword Dance here. Um, this is more of a... This is a physical set. We'll get some special after this one. Uh, this... A lot, lot, lot of people don't really use Sword Dance on Talonflame because, you know, they're just pressing the Brave Bird button or they're setting up uh, Tailwind and you know, those sort of things. But it can potentially be a good uh, Sword Dance Pokemon. Now, another move that it gets, a flying move that's quite good on it, is Acrobatics. It's, it's mostly overshadowed by Brave Bird, but... If you can get it to activate there with no item, so in this case, I've given it Sword Dance. So, Sword Dance is going to boost its attack by two stages. Let's say you're versing something that's, you know, it's not super, it's not facing down a super effective Pokemon. You know, it's going to be able to take a hit, and it does about half health or over half health, and you, you activate your Citrus Berry. That's going to boost up Acrobatics to double base power. And also, you don't have to... It, you know, it's, it's almost as good as Brave Bird there, and you don't take any recoil. So we've got that 110 base power. So it's only 10 base power uh, weaker uh, than Brave Bird, which is uh, very, very good for no recoil, you know? I've um, also seen, like, weakness policy variants there. I've seen, like, Endure and weakness policy. You could do that at the same time. Um, I've got Flame Charge in this because we're going, like, fully adamant here. We want to go max in attack, and we're going to go max in speed there. So... We're already going to get uh, attack from Sword Dance, and we're already going to get sp speed from Flame Charge there. So I don't really think I'm going to get outsped, you know, after one Flame Charge. It's going to be like ex extremely fast Pokemon or priority move. Now, the last move I've given it is going to be Terra Blast, and I've given this Terra Water for a bit of a surprise for any Pokemon that come in that are especially Rock type Pokemon. Um, you could absolutely destroy them with like, a Water type move. And I don't think Water is a bad Terra on Talonflame either to be perfectly honest, you know, because this does draw out a lot of Rock-type Pokemon, and you can really hit them hard with that. And then you've got Acrobatics of full base power, and you've still got Flame Charge as well there for, as a Fire-type move. So, you know, something quite interesting. I've given it Flame Body over Gale Wings. I feel like, you know, with this set, you want to get hit, so you won't be at max health, so Gale Wings won't really need to be in effect. And I don't have Roost either, so Flame Body is better for this. And, you know, you might even burn the opponent and be able to get another Sword Dance up. Who knows? So, yeah, not a bad set there. You can give it a try. It's not completely meme. It actually isn't too bad. It's, uh, it's, it's more... It's sort of like in between, so it's not absolutely, it's not probably the best use of it, but it's it's definitely not bad, you know, once you get it going, because uh, that'll hit reasonably hard after one sword dance. Will it be like one-shotting things left and right? Probably not, uh, especially if you don't get acrobatics uh, to it at its fullest extent with Citrus Bro, so, you know, just sort of bear that one in mind. But another sort of take on the uh, Talonflame, but you just never ever see anyone use sword dance on it. All right, so next one we got here, um, Talonflame actually doesn't serve as a bad special attacker and it actually has uh, a couple of moves here that really work well in the sun so if you are working with this team you could i i, I could suggest a torkoal would be a nice sort of um option there because with torkoal you can swap into you know those ground type moves that threaten it not so much a rock um and yeah you've got fire blast there as a young powerful move in the sun we're good at the charcoal. Going to boost up those fire type moves there. Uh, we've got Sunny Day. I put that on there in case you're not running like Torkoal. But if you are, you could always like replace it with a move. Now, it actually gets Solar Beam too. So, Solar Beam's really cool because you can go Terror type Grass and then uh, Solar Beam on that. And it's very, very, that'll be very, very powerful. And you know, obviously, you'll be a Grass uh, Terror too. So, any Rock type, Ground type Pokemon are going to get absolutely owned there. So, that's going to be awesome. And we've also got Air Slash too. So you could potentially make this as a Gale Wings Air Slash flinching set too. Because, you know, once you're at full health, um, you could actually get this to keep flinching. If you're if you're lucky enough, you could, I guess. And uh, yeah, that's uh, not a bad little uh, salty strategy there. Let's say, for example, you were running a Torkoal and you're like, hey, I don't really want Sunny down there. Let's check out what else we can get. So we do have um, Hurricane. Now, Hurricane is better than Air Slash, but not if you're going to run it in the sun. So, yeah. If you're not running Sunny Day, then, I don't know, you'd probably do something like... You'd probably have to go, like, Terra Blast. So, yeah, there's nothing really else here I'd probably run. So if I was going to run Hurricane, I'd scrap that and I'd go Terra Blast. And we'd, we'd still be able to have Terra Blast Grass. 
And that way, we've got a more powerful Hurricane. I mean, we could drop Air Slash 2 if, if, if that's the case. And I'm not sure what I'd give that. Well, we got those three moves there anyway. That's a good start. Let's have, let's have a look at the special moves, what we could actually give it here. So... He gets, like, he gets bulk up too. I might have a look at a bulk up set in a second, because that's quite good. Um, he gets Tailwind, which is good there. That, I'm sure, trying to think what could... Oh, I got a good idea. So, I was looking for work up, but man, I've come up with the, the, the greatest um, Pip Knight meme of the century here. So, oh, what did I just delete that? I deleted one of its special... I, I deleted its grass. How could I have done that? Uh, so, we're going to go Throat Spray here. Look at this. This is the Pip Knight special. So... We have got a... Oh, I'm just thinking here. Modest. Hmm, might be inclined to go timid on that now. Actually, no. We want modest because we want some more base pouts. It's still kind of bad. Like Anyway, so we've got growl there. So we're going to go... We're going to growl the opponent and, bo and boost our special attack by one stage because Throat Spray is going to activate because we've got a sound base move there. And we can just fire off Fire Blast, Hurricanes, and Terror, uh, terror uh, Grass. Or you can do Terror Water as well. That could also work kind of like this set I was talking about before. But yes, there you go. A, uh, a Pip Knight special there. Give it a go. And, uh, you know, old, old Growl won't let you down. Now, let's have a look here. Uh, I'll just uh, remove one of these sets. I want to just go over some of his other moves because it actually gets some really good st status moves that I've overlooked a lot. I feel like uh, Sword Dance and Bulk Up are very much overlooked and they're quite good. Uh, you might be able to run something cool like Bulk Up and Roost, you know? Like, hmm. I'm, I'm just I'm just thinking of something right on the spot here. So let's go ahead. Let's give it a see if we can make one on the spot. So we got... I like Bulk Up and Roost. I like that... Um, I like that. So let's go. We're gonna go really tanky here. I did a set kind of similar to this already, so just uh, just bear with me. So as for I'll put heavy duty boots because it's just so handy with all the entry hazards. But we might change it. So we got bulk up on roost there. Fine. All right. Let's have a look here. So since we're not running any speed, I'd go flame charge. And okay. So the only things we're sort of like missing out on. We can't really hit water types. Uh, we got other fire types, rock types. So, hmm. I'm just trying to think what else I could give it. I mean, I was thinking Steel Wing because, you know, that would be a Steel type move. Um, the only thing that would uh, sort of stop me would be water type. So, I kind of like that. Uh, te we're going for a bit more meme here with that like 10% chance of raising defense. It's probably not going to happen. Or we get a flying move. So, that'll hit virtually everything except for like rock then. So. Yeah, that could be a uh, that could be an idea. Or we give it acrobatics and give it like a consumable item. That way it'd be more powerful. That's another option to go for as well. Or we give it Terror Blast. I'm trying to think what you'd give it though. Okay, let, yeah, let's let's think about this. So Terror Blast. Okay, say so we're okay. We're worried about we got a uh, we got one fire move right. That's not going to hit water very 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 effective. Not going to hit grass. Uh, sorry, grass. Uh, rock, and we got water. So water, uh, water and rock, and we've got opposing fire types too. So we sort of need something that can hit all of them. I'm thinking like maybe electric could be the the, the go there, you know, because you know um, that would at least be neutral against rock types. So yeah, so a bulky talon flame. I'm just thinking about this on the spots. And there might there might be a better terror or t type to run on this, but I kind of like the idea of this set. So you could, you just start bulking up and getting your attack. You know what? I like flame body on there because the opponent might burn themselves contacting you with the move. Because let's let's be real. After one bulk up, talent flame can you know, be one shot at easily with a physical move. Still, if it's especially a rock type, so you probably want to be terroring as. Uh, as soon as you can. Or you could go, uh, I'm mean, thinking, wait, grass wouldn't be bad. The only bad thing about grass is then you wouldn't be able to eat fire Pokemon. Like, well, you would, but like, say, a flash fire Pokemon, that could be like a an issue as well. But we'll leave it electric. Let me just have one more little look here. I'm sort of having fun making this set at the moment, just on the spot. What do we got there? We got uh, Steel Wing. We've sort of already gone over that. Or you could go Acrobatics. That That is another option you could actually go for. Matter of fact, let's do Acrobatics. That way we can hit virtually everything except Rock then. So I feel like Tunnel Fame would still be kind of countered by Rock types regardless. And it does, It I mean, it does draw Rock type Pokemon out. It's either Terra Electric. We'll, we'll, let, we'll leave it Electric because at least with Electric, it's got... Um, only one weakness, which will be ground type then. So that might draw out the ground types, which could be bad. Or we could go Terra Normal. 
So I, I know I know that's not very good against rock types either. I'm just trying to think like the zero sort of weaknesses I could I could run on this, or we could go Terra Water, and yeah, you know, it, it still would hit hard. Like I, I guess opposing fire types would probably be the best uh, would, like counter to this if you didn't go water, if you went like grass or something. I don't, or just a neutral move, a straight up neutral move to use against all three of them. Like uh, I mean, you got Ghost as well, so Ghost would hit all three of them, so that could be. That could be interesting. You could go for the ghost one there and have Terra Blast Ghost. I don't know. I think I'm just trying to think of things that would be uh, would be cool here uh, to actually give it a shot. Unfortunately, Terra Blast would base it. You'd have to. I'm just thinking now. You'd have to adjust these. Um, actually, no. We're going for physical, so that's fine. Uh, yeah. So we've got. Yeah, we've got this. Maybe if you want to add something to that, I just think this is kind of a cool opportunity, like bulk up Roost and Flame Charge. I really like that. I'm just not 100% sure right now on the spot what I could run. I also had another idea, um, just on that note here. I had this Acrobatic set, and I had... I was going to do Moranga Berry, because that would be really good. But at the, at the moment, the best we can use is Apicot Berry. So Apicot Berry... Um, would activate there when it's at a quarter max, which is definitely possible if you're setting up bulk ups with a talent flame. Um, you could boost the special defense by one stage as well, so make it even more bulky on this side too, furthering its overall bulk with the bulk ups and max health. So it'd be quite hard to faint. And you've got Roost there to, um, you know, that would remove the uh, the flying type. I don't think it would matter too much at that stage if you're doing terrors. But yeah, there you go. So another another option that you could actually go for. And you'd be going first after a lot of flame charges. So, I don't know. I, I might try out this talent flame. I, I reckon I can get a sweep with this talent flame. I know that it's got its counters and stuff like that, but I quite like this set. Okay, let's have a look at a couple more things here. Um, I'm just going to remove that one there. We are quite a while on that talent flame set, but it was... Uh, was kind of interesting. So, physical moves. We've sort of gone over most of these here. Try to think. Another, ter another terror that wouldn't be bad on Talonflame, it would be okay, would be Steel. You could make use of that for rock types. And, uh, yeah, you could hit them back with a, uh, a terror blast Steel. That could uh, definitely work at the same time. Uh, I've seen, like, little sets like this before. Like, you've got, like, Endure. You've got Weakness Policy. At this stage, I don't even think Gale Wings would be worth it because you'd be on probably one health. And you could go, like, Acrobatics. And you could go Flame Charge. And what else would you have? Pro you'd probably have to hit something, like, for Rock types. So you'd have to go, like, Terra. I, You know what I'd do? I'd do Terra Steel. That way you don't get KO'd by Sand. Because, you know, Snow doesn't do damage anymore. So that could be, uh, that could be somewhat unique. And you might be able to still activate it, uh, you know, the Weakness Policy as well. So... Yep, uh, we'll do that. We want to maximize... Matter of fact, I, I just go adamant because um, you're going to get speed from uh, Flame Charge and you want to be hitting as hard as possible, right? Like Flame Charge isn't that, you know, isn't that strong, right? So there we go. We got a, a Weakness Policy Teleflame uh, with Acrobax and Flame Charge and Terra Blast. So that has some decent potential right there. Let's have a look at another one here. I just want to go over the status moves now. So we've gone over most of these here. Uh, it does get substitute too. You can try and make use of that. I don't know what you'd try and use that for. That'd be some sort of meme set there. You might be able to make use of sub and roost if you're trying to, you know, stall something out. There's not too much. Oh, quick guard. So, yeah, that actually d just a little bit of a dabble back onto these utility double sets. That's another move you could actually give it as well, quick guard, because that's not a bad, um, that's actually not bad, you know. Uh, to run that on Talonflame. That could actually definitely help you out. Oh, I haven't done any, like, teammate stuff. Let, let's let's talk teammates here. I, I feel like... Let me just do one quick last-minute look. I think I've sort of done everything. Yeah, I've done everything you could possibly do with it. You could go for, like, a critting set here with, like, Air Cutter and Slash and things like that. With, like, uh... I don't think it gets Focus Energy. No, it doesn't. So you might be able to do some sort of critting set there. But, yeah, or I think another one you could do uh, Solar Beam and Power Herb and Acrobatics mix sort of set. You know, max special attack and max attack or something like that. Uh, that could work too. But mostly that's about it, you know. As for teammates, I'd probably... Just thinking what you could probably run with this as a, a, a teammate. Hmm. So I'd probably go with a Pokemon... Uh, I'm trying to think what would be the best there. So Tyranitar. I mean, I just did a Tyranitar guide earlier on. So Tyranitar wouldn't be bad because... You know, that tanks a lot of its things. But if you were to couple it with Talonflame and uh, Tyranitar, I'd be 
let's go into one of these ones here. I'd be more inclined to have safety goggles. That's not a bad item there either. Uh, yeah, so that, that's that's probably the item I'd run if you're running it with Tyran on the same team. You know, that way you wouldn't get hit by the sand or anything like that. That could be very nice. Um, another Pokemon there that will be good is Great Tusk. That's quite a good... Um, Quite good synergy going uh, with those Pokemon there for sure too. I know they're both weak to uh, um, water and stuff like that, but that's definitely a good Pokemon that can go beside it. Another good one is Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle would be quite good too. So yeah, it's very fast Pokemon and you know you can swap into any of those types there. And you can get rid of those rock, rock types and ground types, you know, and water type moves. You can just swap into them and, you know, it can definitely go for like... Uh, We've got, like, freeze-dry and stuff like that, too. So, you know, it has a lot of options there to get around water, rock-type Pokemon, and ground-type. So, that could absolutely work. Uh, another Pokemon that wouldn't be bad. Now, I'm thinking... Uh, Goldengo, that's not too bad either. That that could uh, that could be something you could swap into because, you know, that's going to be able to swap into uh, rock-type Pokemon and things like that. And, you know, it's obviously weak to ground, so then you could go back into Talonflame. Talonflame is weak, uh, you know, weak to those moves. So they have good synergy together, you know, so that would be another, you know, uh, Pokemon that you could absolutely uh, use there as uh, some support there for that. Anyway, I think I've uh, gone over Tunnel Flame uh, you know, fair, in a fair bit of detail. If you've got anything else you want to add, go for it in the uh, comment section of the video. Um, I'm sure there's more you could add to this, but I, I sort of had fun making that one set there. Got a little bit carried away. Anyway, that's about it, people. Tomorrow I've got a theme team, and I think I'm going to do like a, a, a guide on like Blissey, so that should be interesting to check out. All right, peace out, people.